Good morning, guys. Here is a little update to yesterday's uh, strategy session. As you see, we said buy the rumors, sell the news, and that's exactly what worked this morning. Um, you know, I'm talking to a client before the open here, and you know, what are you going to do with, um, uh, you know, with the gap in the futures? And he's looking for puts, or he was looking for puts, and just talking about you know trying to sell off into this, but. Puts can be very expensive when this kind of a thing happens. And um, the other thing to take into consideration is that you could get a whipsaw, right? So you could get some very serious swings up in the top of the range there, especially once we got down to that 370.11 support. So the best thing to do really was to wait for this drop here that got you below 368.97 and then focus your attention on a move down into uh, the next pivot line. So, you know, right now we're coming into S1, so first support. I kind of expect that what's gonna happen here is that we're gonna see some rebound into the range, maybe up into uh, the FIB retracement, about 368.16, and then maybe another test lower. So, I mean, I kind of doubt that uh, it's going to be a big update after all of this, but uh, you know, trend is your friend and all that stuff, and it sure looks to me like uh, the path of least resistance is going to be lower. People are going to uh, realize some of these gains that they had with yesterday's news, some of the post-market stuff that people were able to latch on to. I know that uh, my rogue trader, John, was able to really capitalize on the fall in NVIDIA this morning. Good job, sir. Waited for the logic and then you followed through on it. So that's the way to trade these things. But as I said, over the course of the rest of the day, when we see measured moves like this, it's fairly certain that we're going to see some geometric trading over the course of the session. And if that's the case, then you should be able to find levels of support and resistance to intersperse on our chart. And, um, Right now, I would say this level is starting to act up here so that we're seeing um, some volume by price overlap there with um, some of these levels as well. So you can see that we're starting to see things sort of come together and see where price is going to inflect and make sense. And I think that over the course of the session, what you can do here is just wait for the geometry, wait for the... Uh, replays into the range, wait for things to come back into serious uh, resistance, overhead resistance, and then, you know, also try to get the FIB retracements and also wait for, you know, these guys here to narrow a bit because that's going to be where the, uh, where the trading is easier to predict down into the uh, measure of central tendency and back towards uh, that volume weighted average price for the session. All right, so that's the game plan right now. I think the 368.45 short from this morning has a real tight stop around 368.97. If it gets back up into here, it's definitely time to pull the plug on this thing. But if we continue to see the downward pressure, you guys know what I'm looking for. All right, have a great trading day.